Good morning, Bloom Children. This is the Tuesday Show. Coming up on today's edition of Bloom Z, we meet Mr. Shamanic. I am your host, Jasmine Boyles. On activities, we have Lauren, and on sports, we have Marcus Hernandez. It is Tuesday, January 23rd, 2024, and you're watching Blue Scene. <laughs> now for our top story. We continue to learn more about the members of faculty, staff, and staff. Today, we get to know one of the newest English teachers, Um, so this is not my first year teaching. I've been in the classroom for like five or six years now. I can't quite remember. Um, I taught at two schools previously, Southland College Prep, um, which is right down the road, and at Plainfield East High School. Uh, before that, I did get into teaching a little bit later, but before that I did like a, a variety of jobs, like landscaping, physical, um, physical labor, uh, I worked in like a supermarket for a while, um, yeah, so it took me a while to get there, but uh, I really, I honestly, I just loved reading and writing, like it sounds like the nerdiest thing ever, but it's just where my passion is, if I could do that all day, every day, that makes my life that much more enjoyable, because, um, and it's fun to, it's, I like it because it's always a challenge. Um, when I worked in like different jobs, it was always monotonous, same thing, day in, day out. Um, this is always a challenge just because you're in a room trying to teach, you know, 27 to 29 different students with different priorities and different, um, different worldviews. So it's always a challenge, but it's always fun to be challenged. Swimming. Uh, for all four years of high school. Um, I wasn't really in, in, in any clubs or anything other than that, um, but I played in a lot of bands. Um, so like on the weekends we would go and play shows and stuff. Um, I was a fabulous underachiever in high school. Um, I got B's because if I went below a B, my parents would get mad at me and ground me, but I knew like I knew I could get A's, but I was just too lazy to do it. And I see a lot of that in my students. Um, funnily enough, <laughs> humorously enough, um, I see that same kind of attitude of like, in high school it's really hard to draw the line between like what's really important versus what's important right now in that moment. Um, and I definitely see that with my students, um, and I hope that you know just having that perspective in my life too can help them learn a little more about it. Thanks, Mr. Shamaik. Remember that tomorrow is a late start. That schedule is on the screen now. This also means that Balloon Scene will not air tomorrow, but will return on Thursday. Now, a firm reminder, we have an early bird tutoring. If you need extra help in any of the subject areas, early bird tutoring meets every Monday through Thursday from, from Thursday from 7 a.m. to 7.30. Enter the building through the front door, Circle Drive. If you are struggling, this is the place to get extra help. One-on-one -on -one assistance from our teachers. If you have any further questions, please, miss, see, please see Mr. Turner in the counseling office. It's time for Turner Bow 2024. All students at Balloon are invited to join Balloon Trail High School as we celebrate Turner Bow 2024. This year, this theme is a masquerade through the Enchanted Garden. The dance will be held February 16th at Glenwood Golf Course. Tickets are on sale for $30 in the bookstore. Get your tickets soon because last year's event sure to sell out. And any questions, please contact Ms. Miller or Mrs. Winters. That's it for now. Let's go to Lauren with your activities. Thanks, Jasmine. The art club will meet after school tomorrow, Wednesday, January 24th in room 631 in the IE building. Contact Ms. Gowen if questions softball open gym have begun at Bloom High School from 315 to 515 and go Tuesday and Thursday for the next five weeks. Meet in the girls' PE locker room to get dressed. The open gym will be strictly hitting, 
fielding, throwing, pitching, and catching, and strength and conditioning. If you are planning on trying out, it is important that you come and work on being a better softball player. If you have any questions, see Coach Mr. Schultz in the PE area. Finally, in sports news, softball has also started at 3.40 p.m. in the weight room with Coach K and the softball staff on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. That's it for activities. Now let's go to Marcus with sports. Thanks, Lauren. Last week, we shared the news of our bo uh, boys' bowling team's victory. In the conference tournament, we have more information today. The boys' bowling team made history. Yesterday, crushing all teams in the first annual conference tournament. Bloom students Paul Elliott occupied the number two spot with 1,170 overall pins and a high score of 245. Other members of the team include trail students Ryan Brazier, Caden Adir, Colin Mitchell, and Melvin Lee and, uh, and Daniel uh, Zokowski. Two trail students, Colin and Daniel, also advanced to the select, uh, select, wait, sectionals tournaments in Palos Hills. We hope to have news to report from sectionals soon. Great job all around, gentlemen. The boys varsity ball, uh, basketball team destroyed Thorn Ridge last Thursday, 81 to 46. The boys faced Thornton at home today. This is a big game for us. We want to see the stands packed with fans. Let's go Broom Trojans. The, uh, the boys will take on Crete Money on Thursday and Loyola Academy this Saturday. The boys are currently 12 and five overall, four and zero in conference. The girls basketball team beat Thornwood last Thursday, 50 to 37. They take, wait, oh, then on Saturday they defeated Chicago Marshall 58 to 28. The girls played Kankakee yesterday. We should have re results on our next show. They face Creep Money on Thursday. The team is currently 17 and five overall, four and two in conference. Boys volleyball coach is looking for boys who may be interested in joining our team. Trailouts are uh, scheduled to be held at Bloom Trail on March 11th and 12th, and possibly the 13th. If you are interested, please email. That's it for sports. Let's take it back to Jasmine. That's Bloom seeing teachers. Remember to email your announcements to Mr. Cook. We'll see you here again.